how at every step of the way they misled and lied to the people of Gibraltar. He cannot uh, accuse the government of lying just like that without any proof, concrete proof. You should not use, you should not use the word lie. It is out of order. I think that anybody listening to this speech will come to the conclusion that what I am saying is supported by, by fact. Um, in every parliament under the Westminster system that follows Erskine May, when that word is used, um, it has to be withdrawn, Mr. Speaker. I am not going to withdraw uh, something that I, that I believe. I, I will, of course, use alternative language. I've suggested economical with the truth. I have to stop you saying that word, and I would ask you to agree to withdraw the word lie. Okay. I will not withdraw the word lie. And I will, and I will Mr. Speaker, I will, I, I will sit down, not continue with my speech. The people of Gibraltar will know that I have not continued with my speech because Mr. Speaker has not allowed me. If it might help you, Mr. Speaker, and if it might help the Honourable Gentleman, that he might say that although he continues to believe it, he withdraws it, he would then be able to continue with his speech. This is effectively castrating an opposition. No, no, because no, no, of course, but Mr. No, Speaker, no. there may be, Mr. Speaker, may, may, I, may I be allowed to finish? Mr. Speaker has already prevented me from continuing. Now he's preventing me from making the point that I wish to make. Well, that, that, is, un, that is unfair and wrong. Unfair. Of course it's unfair, and you know it's unfair. No, it's not. Yes. Now, you, you shouldn't even be challenging me on that one. If, if you, what you need to do now is simply change the word and use another word to describe what you, the, the message you want to give. This is easy, very simple. Mr. Speaker, I have there is, then, there is no, then there is no need, there is no need to continue this argument. Get on with the speech, please.